Hello guys, it's Aaron here and welcome to another mod installation. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Crazy Ravines mod. And basically you want to go to the link in the description if you want to get this mod and uh, you'll come to this page. And make sure you read all this because it does say it can mess up your other Minecraft world while installing it. Because if you've got it installed then it will probably go onto your other worlds. I, I don't know, just uh, have a read of the like rules and stuff and then you want to click on well you need the mod loader 1.3.2 as well which I have a video on how to get and install so if you want to go and check out the video as well guys go ahead and then you want to download this file here um, you click on it and it, sh it brings you to an ad fly and then you just click that when this goes down to zero it says skip ad just click that and then your you'll start downloading but well, I've already done already done it so here here is what it'll look like when it's downloaded um, basically what you want to do is go to start menu and press run it'll come up with run and then it'll come up with this if you, run doesn't work for you put in percent app data percent I'll put I'll put that in the description as well guys and then you just want to press OK and then you want to go to your dot Minecraft you want to go to um, your bin, click on your Minecraft, right click, open with WinRAR, and then you, before you do anything, guys, please delete this file. Yeah, it, it is crucial you delete this file because it doesn't work if you do not. So we're just going to delete that now. Done. And before you actually start installing any mods, I recommend force updating first and if the mod is like before version like 1.3.1 then you want to backdate it to 1.3.1 for the mod you can't have different mods and different updates you guys probably already know that but for people that have just started on the game it'll probably be useful to them and basically when you've deleted that you want to open your mod loader because you, you need to put mod loader back in when you force updates um, you want to grab all the files and you want to chuck them in there. Press OK. Then you just want to click off the mod loader. And then when you've done that, you want to grab this your other file. You want to double click on that. It's only two files, so it's not that much. And you want to drag and drop those in there as well. Press OK. And when you've done that, you just want to cross off everything. Now, this is where it's going to lag a lot, guys, because I don't think my computer is fast, well my laptop is fast enough for this mod because it makes some crazy ravines guys, I'm not even joking some huge craters and but it does look pretty good I must say um, it's gonna go on this, we're gonna go on this because um, I've already tried out this mod and I put it on this world so let's just jump on this world right going to probably lag to hell. As you can tell on this world I've already found a massive ravine just to quickly show you guys what sort of structures they actually create with this mod. It is actually pretty cool. As you can tell it's pretty huge already. I mean come on guys look at that already. That is a pretty big ravine if you ask me. Uh, I've only found this one at the moment. As you can tell, it's not loading properly because my world and my laptop are not that good. But you can get the general gist, gist of things like how big the ravines can go. I mean, I'm not sure about that bit there. If that's attached onto it, but it's might it might just be my world not loading. Let me just go over and have a look. Go down. Oh, it is part of the ravine, so it is a massive ravine, guys. Just look, you can see my Java high CP U usage. So it goes all the way around here, guys. I mean, it's absolutely huge ravines, and I do recommend this mod for people that like well 
come on, look at the structures of this world, guys. I mean, I'll just put in any. I didn't even put anything in the seed. And if you want to get a world, basically, you need to go into single player. Uh, you need to create a new world because it's on the more world options. You've got the super flat, the large biomes, and then you've got crazy ravines. So you must do go into this, like create a new world, and you must put create crazy ravines. This is how this is how you'll know as well if you've got the mod installed or not. So make sure you do that, then press done, create world. You can either go on creative and try and find some awesome ravines or you can just play on generally. Um I have seen some videos where some of the the old railway uh, are absolutely huge. So I do recommend this mod. Uh it's a great mod and if you guys want more mods for 1.3.2 or for Minecraft in general then like and subscribe because I'm going to try and post daily maybe one or two so thanks for watching guys and peace out